Baseball, baseball, it's a wonderful thing. Let's check out this week's highlights. Baseball News Club presents your weekly highlights. I'm going to need you to subscribe, comment, and like the video right now. Let's start off with Sunday. Baltimore's Austin Hayes hitting a home run. Fan gets it. Gives it to a little fan in the back. Throws it. Look at this guy. The guy in the back trying to steal the kid's ball. Kid makes a great catch. Gets a home run ball. Good times at the ballpark. Don't steal on Salvador Perez. You're not going to win. You're going to regret it each time. And Polar Bear. Big home run in a Mets win over Washington. Crush. Eduardo Rodriguez. 4-0. Red Sox win over Seattle. Then Gene Carlo. How about an exit velocity of 120 miles per hour on this base hit? Just blazing. Then how about the Diamondbacks? Nick Heath. Flash into leather. Great catch. Perhaps one of the better catches of the year. Let's look at the stats. 29 second sprint speed. And it's pretty impossible to have weekly highlights without including Shohei in his home runs or his pitching. Superstar. 2020 MVP Jose Abreu. Gadoosh. Helping the cause. Beating up the Texas Rangers. And then Bryce Harper showing an early glimpse of what it's going to be like during the home run derby. I cannot wait for the home run derby this year. It's going to be awesome. Stars left and right. And then if you ask for something in baseball, sometimes you get it. Little girl wanted a bat, ended up getting a bat. Cool moment in baseball, creating great memories for the little ones. Look at that. Good time with daddy. And then the improbable comeback by the Padres. Sacrifice fly to win it in extra innings. And come Monday, Carlos Santana starts it off with a two-run bomb. Crushed. How about a walk-off? Jordan Luplau. Absolutely blasted walk-off home run, and then the Yankees continue just to run into snags, and the frustrations have even boiled over to the coach. Boone having a hard time with Blue, arguing the game. Then Freddie Freeman, last year's MVP. How about a three-run blast for the Braves to help them beat up Chicago? Bryce Hoskins, 2-HR game for the Phillies. Big day. Look at this, just barely gets over. Let's look at that again, slow motion. Up, over, just misses it by inches. And then Otani, pitching to win and hitting to help win. This guy is beyond incredible. Love watching him play. And Buster Posey, huge day for the Giants. Four hit day. As of this posting, the Giants are actually in first place in the National League West. Can you believe that? Then Jesse Winker, big day for the Reds. Go ahead, HR over the Dodgers. And then our Miggy Watch. 489 home runs, 2,872 hits. Then Framnell Reyes had a huge day for the Indians, beating up Mahita, two home runs, absolutely blasted. Great day for Reyes. Judge, 116 mile per hour exit velocity home run. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. just doing it. 3 HR day, hitting the heck out of the ball in 2021, helping the Blue Jays stay competitive. This is what we've been waiting for for this young man. Super fun to watch. Go Vladdy. And Bobby going opposite field, just like spring training. And Randy Rosarina is not just the only one that's catching balls in outfield. Of course, Kermeyer is going to be there. Brett Phillips, go ahead home run. And then just a typical day at the office for Ronald Acuna Jr. 481 foot shot. Then Arenado, great sliding catch in foul territory. Let's look at it from different angles. The gold glove. And then for the Rangers, Solik, 2HR day to help them over the Angels. Big day. And Carson Kelly, spoiling it for the Padres, two-run HR. Then Jesse Winker taking Bueller first pitch of the game against the Dodgers, helping the Reds win. Then on Wednesday, DeGrom, nine strikeout performance. Just unhittable. And the Yankees, happy to see Domingo back on the hill. Scoreless outing for him. Absolutely just great performance against the O's. Then Josh Bell, ops a field home run, showing why Washington signed him. Glass now, 10K performance. He's just been absolutely dealing this season. Then the Cubs against Atlanta. Atlanta blowing out the Cubs. Rizzo striking out. Freeman, good times. Baseball, yeah. Atlanta smashes five home runs against the Cubbies. Just a beatdown. Just gadoosh, gadoosh. 
Then a very scary moment in Philadelphia, Bryce Harper gets hit in the face with a 97 mile per hour fastball from Cabrera. Luckily Bryce stood up, walked off, left the game, but he's okay. He actually posted a video on Instagram. And then the worst thing about it is very next batter, very first pitch is Diddy, hits him in the back, and Girardi's not digging it. He's just going absolutely nuts, tosses the umpire out of the game and then gets tossed. Just a bad day for Philadelphia. Machado, base clearing triple for the Padres over the Diamondbacks. And then for the Diamondbacks, Josh Rojas, perhaps the best catch of the year, robs a home run from Fernando Tatis Jr. up and over. Alex Wood, 9K performance for the Gigantes. Absolutely great left-handed performance. Kind of a weird pitching style, but it works. Thursday, we've got a walk-off for the O sacrifice on the Yankees. Cards wild pitch win. Here it is again. Ricochets off the catcher. Runner scores. Carlos Rodon, fourth win. Perhaps he is going to be a Cy Young candidate. We'll see. Moncada, three-run blast as the Sox absolutely take it to the Detroit Tigers. Then MLB, you know, trying to get back fans, trying to do something neat. For the fans, they came out with field vision. It's okay. Here's an example. Double play, and then they review it with the field vision. And it just looks like a 1995 baseball video game. It looks kind of cool that they can do it like in real time, but it's just kind of weird looking. It does look like MLB 1995. Eduardo Escobar, triple, helping the cause. Let's move on to Friday highlights. Matt Carpenter, pinch hit, three run blast, helped the Cardinals over the Pirates. And then Philadelphia, the Mets, some blood boiling. This is a great rivalry, but you know what? You're gonna start doing that to the other team. You're gonna clear the benches and here we go. Everybody comes on out. No punches thrown, of course. This is a baseball brawl. Schwarber, 454 foot walk off for Washington. And then scary moment for all American League East teams. Yankees getting hot. Five home run day. And this is without Luke Voigt. Imagine this team healthy. Scary. Joey Votto, his 300th career home run. Yay. Vladimir, absolutely just crushing it. And J.D. Martinez just having an absolute great season helping the cause. Boston in first place. Byron Buxton. Let's look at his catch metrics for the Twins. Look at this. Distance needed 68 feet, 4.1 second. Bieber, 11K day, going for another Cy Young. Dominant. And then Hader continues to be the closer for the Brewers to keep them competitive. Sam Haggerty catch. Kind of a little <laughs> preemptive, a little too early. Jumped up, thought he was going to hit the wall. Nope. Then as of this post, Mark Mallinson of the San Diego Padres leads MLB in saves. Let's move on to Saturday. Perez throws you out and hits him out. Tim Anderson, Grand Slam. Kadoosh. And then an interesting situation. Cincinnati and Chicago, Amir Garrick. You remember him. He's the guy that took on the full team in that brawl last year. Talking trash, getting everyone riled. And umpire tries to stop and realizes, crap, it's not going to stop him. Everybody clears the bases. No harm, no foul. Comfortos go ahead HR for the Mets. Boom. Flaherty, 5-0, absolute gem thrown against the Pirates. Oh, did I mention he had a 9K performance? And then a great comeback win. Milwaukee three-run rally in extra innings, bottom 11th against the Dodgers. Milwaukee looking special at times this year with Hader on the mound as their closer. They're starting to surprise teams, putting it together, beating a great team like the Dodgers. Will Milwaukee be a playoff-bound team? And then Toronto, a walk-off RBI win. Machado, three-run HR to take down the San Francisco division-leading Giants. This is going to be a great series. And then finally, in a win for the Angels, Mike Trout blasting a home run. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have yourself a great day.